What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the review of Resurrection ROM on Mi 5. I had the Mi 5 for the past few months. I was trying to unlock the bootloader and it always stuck at 50%. And last month, actually two months ago, Mi 5 pushed my buttons and it literally hated MIUI. Memory management was horrible. I had to reset the phone and it still didn't help. And then I tried to root it and flash a custom ROM. I flashed the global ROM and then tried to unlock the bootloader and this time it worked. And then I flashed the resurrection ROM. All this happened two months ago and now I'm here with a complete review. There is no memory management issue and multitasking works great. I felt audio experience via the headset to be much better than the stock ROM. These were the two things that I hated the most on the stock ROM. With that said, we did lose some good features like the camera app doesn't support slow motion and time lapse, we don't have dual apps, home capacitor button doesn't work, somehow OLT worked in the beginning but now it doesn't. We still have sunlight display and camera performance is good. Other than these issues, ROM stands out to be very fast and responsive. You can't have enough time to look into the customization that you can do on this phone. If you love to personalize your phone, then this is the best way to do it. You can tweak every nook and corner of the UI, including the text size of the clock, color of the text, breathing notifications for missed calls and messages. You can customize what should be on your lock screen and where it should be, the size of the text and so on. You can even arrange the layout of the settings, the notification toggles, you can even block ads. Apart from these personalization, we even have cyanogen based themes like dark material, and red in theme and many more. We can even tweak the performance of individual cores, which I wouldn't recommend you to do, but if you want, it's there. So far in my usage, there is no heating issue, but the phone does get hot when you use it while charging or while watching videos on YouTube on 4G and while playing high end games for a long time. There is no connectivity issue with call reception, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or NFC. Call quality is good and noise cancellation works. Battery does drain a lot when we use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 4G all at the same time, but the standby time is very good. It can definitely last you a day on normal usage and quick charging works too. My biggest concern about this ROM will be the capacitor button, VoLT and camera app. VoLT might never come to this ROM, but there is hope for the rest. If you are fed up with the stock ROM, you can definitely try this ROM. Links for the developer ROM of MIUI and the resurrection ROM will be in the description. So do check it out if you are interested. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Do let me know if you have any doubts, comments, complaints and if you want us to make any specific video, feel free to let us know and we will try to make it as soon as possible. With that said, I am Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day. Oh, by the way, do subscribe to see more cool videos on tech.